Hello and welcome back. This video is on a program called PDF24 uh, software tool uh, which you can download from this website. It's absolutely 100% free, uh, free of spyware as well. Uh, and it's used to convert anything that you can print virtually to a, a, a file to a PDF. So it converts PDF with free tools. And, and you can read up on how it works here. If you click on the information tab it'll give you um, virtually all the advantages, screenshots and how it works, installation instructions, pretty straightforward. Uh, you obviously need admin rights to install it as usual and this is on Windows 10 PC and um, it virtually does anything that you can print to pictures, PDFs, um, email messages to archive and and so on and so forth and uh, all the examples are given here. If you go back to the downloads page and click on this I've downloaded the private one optimized for private use there's a link to click on it and at the time of making the video is version 8.2.4 once you downloaded it you get an icon like that uh, called PDF24 on your desktop and you'll also get on your notification bar in the notification tab the PDF creator uh, icon in, in, in there and then you can select open screen capture etc all these options from there settings uh, working area user defined etc I've created two desktop folders, PDF24 and Demo, and you can also get the uh, tool by right-clicking and selecting PDF24 on the drop-down from the drop-down, so you'll get an icon there as well, uh, the link. So I've got two images downloaded, and they look like this. I can now select both of them, and then right click open the program by doing that and then open in creator and I can do all the other options once you get the hang of it so if you open it there you get them individually so if you now save it uh, you can save it as a PDF it'll save it individually or you can combine it and merge the two images into one PDF a and then you can move this around if you want to do that so let's say you want to make one Im one PDF and I click save you get good quality by default low quality medium depending on the size of the file good quality and best quality are high resolution but then the file is bigger low quality is good enough and on the left you'll see um, the, the format so if you're in the PDF uh, f uh, link you can do all of these either by selecting these bookmarks and going straight to there or you can scroll down from here to get to those bookmarks so where it says security signature etc it's all at the bottom here by scrolling down now what I like about this program is you can put the title and the security so this is to encrypt the uh, file that you're creating unfortunately it's only 128 bit but it's good enough uh, for a free full version which is what I like which gives you uh, allows you to do all these things but if you want to open it and encrypt it as well so you can give two passwords two different passwords um, so if I if I say test here and one two three four there and save it it'll save it as one PDF and you'll need this password to open it and the other one to do all the rest so let's continue it goes there and I'll call it uh, test PDF it then combines it and saves it and there it is and it's 117 kilobytes so if I open it gives you the password now I can do um, test to open it or I can do 
for the other one. Now you can see it's um, uh, 117. I can now try and compress it from there. When you get the tool open, toolbar, file tool, compress it. And if it goes green, which it is, on the right, and this is the side of the file on the left, you can save it and and um, compress it to two kilobytes. So let's put it back to the this folder and close that. And there it is. So the 117 has been reduced to a low quality. Obviously, that's not working very well because I think it was encrypted. So you, which is a test to show you cannot um, you cannot um, do things to it without the right password uh, so it, it goes blank so let's do another one and open in creator merge by clicking this one and it'll become one so now it's done all these I can remove these uh, delete oops no, it didn't. I can select it from here and there's the two and then if I hit this it'll merge into one and as I said you can swap them around uh, how you wish if you leave it like that and then click uh, save and low quality but I won't put the password in let's see what happens and then we call it test2 um, this test2 and it's the same size obviously now if I do compress it's reduced it a bit more And there's the compressed one and if I open that yes it has worked so if you give it a password it will give you a blank page but you can compress it further if you want wish to do uh, depending on the size of the file uh, bear in mind this was low quality so it's pretty clear in terms of the resolution now supposing I'm on this there's several pictures there of uh, somewhere you've been on holiday and you want to now make a folder I can then do this open creator and then um, I can save them individually and say save and then he asks you all or selected and because there's one selected it'll do that one but if I do both of them it'll select all of them and then I can save it as a JPEG or PNG etc from there so this is so it'll be saved like so and let's put it in the demo folder so it's actually saved them um, by giving it a, the same name so I wasn't very good that's because I left them as they were so if I open it again the two of them and then put it in a folder so open creator and then I say merge there's the two now it'll be one file save and then he says uh, document so if I say test fix so if I go back to the the PDF folder it's giving it a folder called test pics but it's telling you there's JPEGs in there so if I open that and there's the two images pretty good quality when you open it so basically it creates a folder 
or an album but calls it JPEG and then when you open it it creates the two images into one and if I click on the thumbnail it's pretty clear so basically all the images so if you've got 10 20 50 uh, and you select them and you want to create a folder it'll call as, as images it'll call call it a folder name that you want and then all the images will appear there or you can create um, a, a PDF like I sh uh, showed you uh, and give it a name and then also you can encrypt it uh, either to open or to edit etc or print if you do that with the encryption the page will be blank if you do it to open but not the other encryption uh, just to open then it will protect it but then you, you can see the um, images that from the PDF otherwise the page will be blank so now let's go to the uh, web page and this is the document that you're looking on the Edge browser on the Gov site if I click print you get the print PDF uh, icon the printer and then uh, if you click select print what I like about it is and save it it, it gives it the name of the document which is brilliant you know that you that you're looking at from the web page if you save it and open the PDF uh, folder there's the the web page that you've saved on the, on the web and the, uh, as a PDF it's really brilliant if you now click capture screen from the PDF icon on the desktop or you can use it as I said to you from the uh, status bar at the bottom by right clicking um, and then choose user defined you can it will tell you from here so if I click on this you get the capture screen um, icon and then it defaults to user defined which I like and then you can select or you can do a screenshot or working area etc and then he says print to PDF printer or copy to clipboard etc and open in default image editor and then start so let's do let's do this one and start so now if I say if I preview it you can preview it it'll convert it and show you this is what you've done and then save it or I can save it straight from here and then say screen it says screen area it's done it for you okay and there it is if you do the um, you can compress files as, as I showed you so if you do if you can import pictures from there if I click that again and then you can basically it's using the PDF printer to print anything and, and, and convert it to PDF um, and if, if it doesn't let you do it then you can do it online uh, but you have to obviously give your email to do that which is f still free but all the instructions are on the website um, and uh, this is the website that you can download it from I hope you like this brief video uh, lots to do with this uh, program I'm quite excited to use it uh, lots of features and and um, easy pieces to use and it's free uh, thanks for watching bye for now